The meniscus is a commonly injured structure in the knee. And in this video, we're going to take a look at what an actual bucket handle type meniscus tear looks like. A bucket handle meniscus tear is a special type of meniscus tear that results in a tear, but also displacement of the meniscus tissue. Okay, everyone, so using this model, we're going to demonstrate what a bucket handle type uh, meniscus tear looks like. And so here's our model here, and this is our thigh bone, and this is our shin bone. Ignore this little spot in the middle here, that's just part of the model. And so if I roll the knee back this way, you can see as we've described before, what would be the articular surface, the cartilage. And you can see sitting here in between the thigh bone and the shin bone is the menisci. And they're demonstrated blue here, but of course they're not blue in real life. So check out my other video on what actual meniscus, uh, menisci look like to really get a good look at that. So we'll take off the thigh bone so that we can look directly down onto the menisci. And so we're gonna pay particular attention to the medial side right here. So we know that's the medial side because the fibula bone over here is the lateral side. And so looking straight down at this tear, you can see where I've made or simulated a tear right along here, right along this ridge. And I think you can see that right there. And so that's really how a bucket handle meniscus tear will start. So looking at it more from a uh, top-down perspective, we'll get a closer look at what this tear actually looks like. And if I can, uh, within the limitations of the model here, I can show you just exactly where this tear extends. It goes all the way towards the back of the knee through here, and then this tear wraps all the way around towards the front of the knee, just like that. And so to create a bucket handle tear, we have to uh, displace this meniscus tissue. And so the bucket handle tear is actually when this inner torn tissue will displace, let's see if I can get it, will actually displace out of position like this. So you can really see, you can really see just how disruptive that is to the meniscus anatomy. So it starts off as a tear like this, just like that. And then this meniscus tissue will displace further into the knee like so. and then that'll flip out of place like that. And you can imagine how that gets stuck inside the knee and causes all sorts of symptoms like popping, locking, and things like that. So this is how the meniscus normally sits on the knee joint, just like this. So let's go back. So that's how the meniscus normally sits in the knee joint. But then when we've got the displaced meniscus tissue, that is the bucket handle tear, if I put our knee back where it belongs, now you can see what that actually looks like. So you can see how this meniscus tissue is displaced out of position and now the femoral condyle of the knee, and now the femoral condyle of the knee is actually sitting within the tear itself. So you see that like that. And so when your knee tries to bend, it's kind of hard to bend it with the meniscus tissue there. So you can see if we try to straighten our knee out, that tissue sort of pinches in, in, um, uh, and gets in the way and keeps your knee from all the way straightening and really uh, disrupts your knee motion. You can also get popping and snapping of this uh, meniscus as well because at times you can actually have this snap back and forth as you move your knee and that'll cause popping and catching. So when you have a meniscus tear like this, it's really important to address it and you really need to consider uh, surgery in this situation. So to get this corrected, 
we have to move this meniscus tissue back. And so what we'll do is during arthroscopy, where we put the camera inside the knee, we will actually work to pull this or push or manipulate this back into its proper position. And so there's a way we can put a little stress on the knee to open up the space between here and here. And then using our instrument, we actually push this back into place. And that snaps back into place like that. And then you can see how we've restored the normal alignment, I'm sorry, the normal relationship of the meniscus inside the knee. And now there's no block to knee motion. You can uh, straighten your knee and bend your knee. And then once you have this meniscus tissue back in place, we have to think about uh, getting it fixed. So in order to demonstrate how we repair the meniscus, I have one of our repair cannulas here. And the cannula is really just a two or three or so millimeter in diameter metal sheath. It's hollow on the inside and we can pass needles through it. They're really small and we can pass them through small incisions, uh, small uh, portals, we call them arthroscopic portals through the front of the knee to access the meniscus in, um, in a really uh, minimally invasive type of manner. In some cases, we do have to make an incision on the side of the knee in order to facilitate passage of the needle to protect uh, important vital structures, uh, but there are other situations where that's not necessary. And tears that are really big, where the tear extends from way in the back and wraps all the way around to the front, often you have to do the repair where you have to make the accessory incision on the side. So looking down this cannula, you can see, I'm gonna slowly advance the needle. That needle comes right through just like that. And so in order to repair the meniscus, we'll place this cannula right at our anticipated uh, suture location, just like that. And then we'll pass the needle through the meniscus tissue and out the back. And then we'll pass another limb of the suture out the back and then we'll tie that down. And I'll show you how that works on a different knee model. Okay, so now I've got my uh, knee repair model here and I've recreated this type of tear. You can just make it out going from the back of the knee and wrapping all the way around to the front. And we can displace this meniscus tissue like I showed you guys a little bit earlier uh, on the other model. So you can see how that that meniscus uh, displaces in a bucket handle type of manner. And so in order to repair that, we have to use a lot of different stitches to uh, secure this meniscus with enough strength so it holds while it repairs or while it heals. And so what we'll do is we'll start off with our um, suture device. And you can see again how you can see again how the device passes the needle just like that. So we can go out and then we can pull it back in uh, into, the, uh, into the cannula. And so coming to our first spot here, we will slowly advance our needle and that needle will go through the meniscus tissue just like that. And then we'll slowly pass it through the knee. Now, granted, this is a knee model, so it doesn't behave exactly like real human tissue, but I think you guys will be able to see how this works. And so you can see, as I put this through, just like that, we can pass the needle through the meniscus tissue like that. You can see now how we've passed most of this needle through the tear, and so as this needle is advanced through the tissue, it's pulling uh, the suture along with it and that will be the suture that we repair the meniscus with and so that comes all the way down that way and now we pass the suture through the meniscus we will pull that stitch uh, through and then we come back in with our second needle okay so we're now ready to place our second needle so we have the needle just barely coming out of the cannula and we've passed our first stitch and so then we find the appropriate location on the other side of the meniscus and then we go through the tissue again. And so we can pass that through. And 
and that needle will then get passed through the meniscus tissue and will shuttle the other limb of the suture through for repair. All right, now we've passed both of our needles and this needle gets passed the rest of the way through the meniscus and you can actually see our second stitch down in the tear right there. And so we'll pass this second needle through and then you can see here comes the, uh, the rest of the suture that'll come through just like that. We'll pull the rest of the way and you can see how now the stitch is passed and if we tighten both limbs the meniscus is held. All right, and so we'll do one more just to sort of uh, really get this, uh, uh, get a good look at it for you guys. And so get this needle passed through, through the bottom part of that tear. Pass the needle through the tissue. And now we will pass the second needle through this uh, second uh, stitch here. After the needle has been passed, the assistant will then grab the needle and pull the needle out the meniscus tissue. And then once again, we pull the stitches tight. We tie it down. Imagine I'm tying it down with some knots and that secures the meniscus down for a sturdy repair. So hopefully after watching this video, you guys have a better understanding of what a bucket handle tear of the meniscus looks like.